Huh? Oh yeah. Hey everybody, this is the old lady O8. Today I'm super excited because I just got my starter set for hordes. I picked the Troll Bloods as the, as the uh, faction I'm gonna play. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it in this video. And this will be the first video of our uh, monthly long review of hordes. So at the end we're gonna let you guys know what we think of War Machine and hordes. But yeah, so keep watching. All right, so here we have the box. Um, it comes with four figures, the starter set does. So it's three Light War Beast and then one Warlock. So it's gonna be two Impalers, one Axer, and then uh, Ma Madrock Ironhide, I think is how you say his name. So go ahead and open this up here. Here. All right, so let's see. So this looks such a cards and uh, explains all the different powers and stuff. And then on the back, it just has all the different rules. And then so, so it comes with five cards, uh, one for each, and uh, Madrak gets two. So we'll get a close up on those later. And then here the bag with all the figures in it. So I'll go ahead and open this up and then uh, we'll get a close up on it. Alright, so these are all the pieces before they're assembled. These are the two impalers. And then this guy is the axer. Uh, they're pretty much the same sculpt except for the left, the right arm is a little different, which allows them to hold the uh, axe. And then this is the uh, iron hide right there. And then these are the little heads. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, snap them in and then show you guys what they look like assembled. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble these guys. This is the impaler. They actually snap in pretty good and pretty strongly. So let's see. This one goes on this side, I think. Maybe not. Okay. It's hard to do with this. So it's a pretty, really easy assembly, and then of course you have to glue on the face, and then uh, the extra uh, spears here are gonna have to be glued either on the back, or I guess you could even probably throw it in his hand somewhere, with maybe with some modeling putty. That looked pretty cool. And then uh, these guys don't have anything on the bottom, so you're gonna have to glue them to their base. They don't just stick, uh, which that's kind of sucks. But um, what I do like though is it's really, really easy assembly. I mean, I put it together really quick. So yeah, that's pretty much the impaler. Alright, so the other impalers are exactly the same, except they give you three different heads to choose from. So we'll show the heads at the end, and we'll just skip to the Axer. So the Axer is pretty similar. He's got almost the same body, except for he's got spikes on his uh, armor here. The arms are a little different, because he's holding the axe up. That one goes there. This one goes right there. And the axe is in the air somehow. Let's see. So this. Boom. Yeah, they're really, really easy to put together, which is awesome. And uh, the detail is really awesome. So, uh, yep, that's uh, the Axer. It's pretty sweet. All right, so next up we have the Warlock here. Um, this one's the Trollkin, so I guess that's why he's smaller, although I would like him to be bigger. Um, he does have the thing to connect him to his base, so that's pretty cool. Um, and he's also really easy to get done. Just snap one of these, snap this one in. Like that. Snap the other one in for his weapon there. And bam, he's set. He's pretty cool looking sculpt too. Um, yeah, iron hide. <laughs> Alright, so these are the three different heads you get to choose from. What I really like is even the two impalers have different faces. So even though you have the same sculpt, they'll be a, they'll have a little bit of different personality. All right, so this is uh, the whole set right here. It's my headless army. Um, so I'm gonna get these guys glued together, primed and uh, painted. And uh, so yeah, so you'll be seeing another video shortly of me either painting them or me already painting them to depend uh, if I could hold off or not. But I'm really excited to get these out and uh, primed and everything. Yeah, so that was uh, the unboxing of the Horde set. Um, I'm really, really happy with it uh, because I secretly bought two um, Scorn stuff uh, just to try them out earlier. And uh, they were metal cast and I didn't really like them. The detail wasn't as good, but uh, these plastic models are really awesome. So I think in the future when I buy hordes, I'm gonna try to get the plastic stuff. 
Um, other than that, um, you can expect more videos in the future of Horde. Right, this is gonna, one we're going to do for our monthly review. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. It's the old lady 08. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I gotta go because I got some painting to do. <laughs> See ya. There you go, baby. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'm gonna pass take it. a shot, take a shot. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. You don't have to hit it down. <laughs>